my channel and welcome if you're new here. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. It's grocery haul day. I have a massive, and I mean massive, haul for you today. I have food and non-food items, so much so that I had to film two separate segments because my kitchen island was packed with groceries. I went to Costco for my monthly haul there at Costco, which is always just a ton of things. Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store, and also, of course, to Trader Joe's for my produce for the week. So I have so much to show you. So let's, without further ado, jump into this week's WW Grocery Haul. Part one of the massive stock up haul is all of the food that I purchased. The only thing you're not seeing is a case of water from Costco and a case of beer from Costco. This is all of the food. And then after this, I'll show you all of the non-food things you guys like to see that. Plus I got a couple fun home decor pieces. So let's jump in to this ginormous grocery haul. So first thing I picked up is this large bag of Lindsay sliced olives from Costco. This is a 33 ounce or two pound, one ounce package. $4.99. It's such a great price. What I do is just pop this in a Ziploc storage container with the liquid and throw it in the fridge. It literally will last over a month. And if you're a big olive family like we are, this is an incredible, incredible deal. Premier Protein for Troy. He asked to have these. He likes to take them in his lunch. They tied him over. They give him a good bit of protein. I don't drink them just because of the ingredients, but he really likes them. And right now they are on sale at Costco for $19.99. And then the big box of the 54 count of the lunch bags of chips. These are also on sale right now at Costco. So if you, again, are a chip family, this is such a great deal. He takes one of these every single day in his lunch. And then I was so excited that Costco has the chosen food avocado oil spray. Look at the size, you guys, 13.5 ounces. So this is twice the size of the smaller containers and it was $11. That is such a fantastic deal. This is really the only cooking spray I use because it doesn't have propellants and it's great ingredients. So if you like this spray, this is a killer price at Costco. And I'm so happy they upped to the big container because we go through a lot of that in this house. I also needed panko breadcrumbs. So I grabbed these ones from Trader Joe's. And then this is a new find at Fred Meyer. I shopped at Fred Meyer this week, like I mentioned. They have the Simple Truth mini crouton shaker in Mediterranean. So look at these cute little baby croutons. I thought how fun would these be to top a salad? I'm not much of a crouton person just because I don't like the big bulky chunks of bread, but this would give just that perfect little crunch to a salad. So I grabbed those. They also had a Southwestern flavored one as well. And then I got a can of sliced mushroom stems and pieces for a recipe. And at Trader Joe's, I grabbed some organic black beans. I actually needed that for a recipe this week as well. Baking powder, mine was about gone. And it's such an affordable price at Trader Joe's, so I always pick it up there. And then down over here, we've got some Heinz Homestyle Gravy and Savory Beef. Now, I don't love the ingredients in these. I actually did a little bit of running around Fred Meyer or Kroger looking for a better ingredient gravy, and I couldn't find it. But I need this for a recipe. And you guys are going to love the recipe series that I have coming out that I actually needed this beef gravy for. And then in place of the Campbell's not very good ingredient, cream of mushroom, I picked up the Pacific Foods Organic. This has great ingredients. So if you want a cleaner soup, they have cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, cream of everything. So I picked that up. And then also down here buried is a can of organic baked beans. Now I've actually never bought these, but as you know, it's summer, it's grilling season. So I thought this would be a nice addition to a dinner. They're low fat, they're organic. Your beans are on the dirty dozen. So it's nice to buy beans organic. So I picked that up. And then I was so excited because you guys know last time I was completely bummed out that they did not have my chosen foods avocado oil mayonnaise at Costco. Well, they have switched brands and now they are carrying the Primal Kitchen avocado oil mayo. You guys, this entire container 
This is a 32 ounce, was less than $9. Now a very tiny, tiny jar is $9. So I was so excited because I'm out of my other avocado oil. I hope this one is just as good. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts on Primal Kitchen versus the Chosen Foods. I also grabbed the Simple Truth Organic Beef Stock. I actually needed beef broth for a recipe. And then also at Costco, I picked up the big container of minced garlic. This is $4.79. You can't beat it. We are a garlic loving family as well. So we go through this pretty darn quickly. So I grabbed that. And then these are my husband's favorite frozen burgers. These are private selection, which is a fancier version of the Fred Meyer or Kroger store brand. They actually have really good high quality products, but these are his very favorite burgers. So I thought that I would grab these just to throw them in the freezer for him in the event that he wants a burger. I could always have a turkey burger and he can have these. These are really delicious if you're looking for a great burger. And then behind, or underneath that, I have the little bites. You guys know these are his jam. I actually bought two boxes. They were buy one, get one free. And we're going to try this bread this week since I did not do a Walmart pickup. This is the Gold Miner Sourdough Bread. I picked this up in the bakery section. It's so soft and he's been loving the bakery style bread. I mentioned this last week that he likes this better because the bread doesn't stick to his teeth when he goes to bite into the sandwich. So I picked that up for him. And for his sandwiches this week, I grabbed some of the private selection provolone cheese and he wanted a mix of roast beef and pastrami for meat. So I grabbed three quarters of a pound of each of those for his lunches. Also some cheese at Trader Joe's, the organic shredded mozzarella and the fancy light Mexican blend. These two are staples in our house. And then I grabbed this just because it piqued my interest. This is the Trader Joe's uncured black forest ham. No nitrates or nitrites. Look how delicious that looks. So it is 70 calories for two ounces. It has good ingredients. So I grabbed that. You guys know I like to have lunch meat on hand because sometimes I just want a sandwich or I want to make a quick little quesadilla or a wrap. So every week I generally will pick up some type of a low calorie, low point lunch meat for myself. I also picked up four two good yogurts. They were four for five dollars. So I have a strawberry, two coconut, and a vanilla. I like to sometimes change up my yogurts. I do have a couple Siggies in my fridge that I'll eat up, but I've been having yogurt literally every single day. So I decided this week to get some two good. I got some orange juice for a recipe for that recipe series that I'm so excited coming your way here in the next couple of weeks. I needed orange juice. And then a repurchase or a restock of the Trader Joe's organic jasmine rice. This is in the freezer section. You literally pop the bag of rice in your microwave for three minutes and it comes out perfect every single time. So we love this rice. My husband loves it because he can even just pop this in the microwave and make it really easy on himself if he's wanting rice with his meal. And then I had a coupon for the Whole Earth Sweetener. This is one of the ones that I actually really like. And this was a killer price at Fred Meyer, so I picked that up. You can't beat the price at Costco for pickles. Both of these jars were $4.79. My husband loves pickles, pickles and olives. That's what he loves. So I grabbed these for him. I also really like the baby dills versus the bigger dill pickles or the slices. Those to me get soggy. So I like these because they still have a nice crunch. And like I said, that is such an incredible deal for two huge jars of pickles. A new find at Costco is the Vital Proteins Collagen Water. Now you guys know that I use the Vital Proteins Collagen in my coffee every single morning. As I was at checkout waiting for my mom, I saw these and I thought, I'm going to grab them. I don't know the points. Of course, they'll be here on the screen, but they're 60 calories per container. There's four strawberry lemon, four lemon slice, and four blackberry hibiscus. The most is three grams of sugar per water. Some of them only have one gram, but I'm excited. It's just another great way to get in collagen. And if you struggle to drink water, this is a great way to get in a little extra water throughout the day. So going to try those. I'm excited. And then no surprise that I grabbed the other or another pack of the chicken pot pies for my husband. We've been out. He's been asking and I told him you have to wait for the next Costco trip. And I only go to Costco generally once a month. So this is the once a month. And I said, let me grab you your chicken pot pie so that you can make it until next month when I go back to Costco. And then a repeat for me purchase is this Trader Joe's sparkling black tea with peach. Love this tea. It is so 
so delicious and I don't know if it's seasonal at Trader Joe's so I wanted to make sure that I grabbed it while I could and then at Fred Meyer my Zevia was on sale so I've never had the cherry cola it was on sale for $3.99 per six pack so I grabbed six of the cherry cola and then I grabbed six of the grape because I loved the grape from last week's haul the grape and the orange were my favorite I didn't really care for the black cherry so I picked up two six packs that'll last me a couple weeks a big container of organic spring mix from Costco. I have not made my Jen salad in a long time with the strawberries and the new chick on the block. So I'm feeling some salad. So I grabbed this big container so that that will motivate me to have salads this week. And then I picked up the Stonefire non dippers because I have quite a bit of hummus in my refrigerator. Plus I have some tzatziki and I thought that we could use these little non breads basically for a dipper. And these are one point per bread or you can have five breads for 140 calories, which I think is extremely reasonable. So picked those up. And then on to some frozen goodies here. I have the Trader Joe's frozen mashed potato. These are the pellets. These are amazing. They are so incredibly easy to use. Troy loves these. So I picked these up for a recipe and then of course he'll eat whatever is left over. And then I grabbed some organic frozen green beans and organic sweet corn also for a recipe. And then I had a coupon for a free private selection frozen fruit blend. So I grabbed this mango, banana, and strawberry. Private Selection does not have any organic fruit blend. So I was a little bummed out about that because strawberries are on the dirty dozen, but I figured the mangoes and the bananas are okay not to be organic and it was free. So you can't pass that up. I also grabbed some more of the Private Selection wild caught Argentine red shrimp. This is my favorite shrimp. I've mentioned this before. It's amazing. I had a coupon that was expiring, so I wanted to use it up. And then I have my Forager cashew milk, which you guys know is my go-to favorite milk. And again, not a shocker, I picked up the big, huge jar of the Ginger Aid kombucha and then two small ginger berries. This is basically equivalent to five bottles of kombucha, so that will last me the entire week. I also grabbed the three pack of the organic chicken breast at Costco. Such a great price. Very, very good quality chicken as well. So I grabbed that and everything else for food is produce. So basil, I needed this for a recipe. And remember, I'm back to my salads. So I like to put basil in my salad. So this will definitely get eaten. Organic strawberries from Costco for my salads and also just strawberries kind of sounded good for the week. So I picked that up. Cherry tomatoes, I actually need this for a recipe, and then whatever are left, I'll throw in my salads. Red bell pepper for a recipe, green onions for a recipe, and under the green onions is one lone navel orange for a recipe. So that is everything, my friends, food related from this huge, massive grocery haul. So let's jump into the non-food items. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot some of the grocery haul because there was so much. I did pick these Amy Lou chicken and doodly sausages up. These look incredible. They were such a great price, $14 for two and a half pounds. Low point, fabulous, fabulous ingredients. So snatch these the next time you're at Costco. I also needed some diced ham for a recipe, so I picked up the Simple Truth. And then under here are a 18 pack of, or I'm sorry, 24 pack of the Omega-3 free range egg. So now that is all of the food. So here are the non-food items that I picked up. So of course, we have a big pack of paper towels from Costco. And then look how cute this is. So it's got the red, the blue, it's this cute little kind of rustic fence, and then it has hooks down here. This was on sale for $22.97, and then it was an extra 15% off, so I think I paid less than $20 for this. And this is going to go in my mud room so that I can hang the dog's leashes from these hooks. This cute little shelf, we could put really whatever. I loved it. It goes perfect in there. I am planning on filming a home tour. So eventually you guys will see this in action, but I couldn't pass it up. And then I picked up a couple packs of wax melts. Uh, fall is coming for me in my mind. So I have pumpkin pancakes. And then to finish out summer, I grabbed the lime and coconut. This is seriously the cutest thing I've ever seen. This was on clearance for $9.50 with another 15% off, which is another dollar something. So maybe $18. This is a spice holder for the tabletop. So it's on this cute little wooden plate type of a thing. And then you would put the spices in here, salt, pepper, whatever you were serving 
with your dinner or your meal, but I'm gonna use this in my meal prep videos because I can put my spices in there. I just thought it was really cute. I love the wood, I love the color, so I had to get that. Apparently Costco knows that I have gray roots, so this is a killer deal. Three of the root cover up for $18.99. It's $10 per container at the grocery store, so great price for that. It doesn't go bad, so I'm just gonna throw this in my storage room. And then we needed AA batteries. We were completely out. I actually needed one for a wireless mouse. I didn't even have any, so I picked these up. These are on sale right now, $13.99 at Costco. A couple tubes of toothpaste. I should have just grabbed these at Costco. It would have been more affordable, but I picked these up just at Fred Meyer. My husband wanted mouthwash. He does not like the Listerine. It's too strong for him. I love the Listerine, but I grabbed this Colgate. This one is not super intense. So if you are someone that doesn't like that really intense mint, this is a good option. Picked up some Oli Sleep gummies for me. Sometimes I struggle sleeping you know us women we always have lots on our mind so these do help a lot and there was a great coupon for these and last but not least i grabbed some of the cascade dishwasher gel also on sale at costco for 6.99 so great price so that is everything that i picked up that was not food and now let's talk meal plan and meal prep so let's take a look at my meal plan and what you'll be seeing on monday for meal prep I can't believe we're already in the second week of August, you guys. It's crazy. This is my carry-out meal planner. I always show this in every video. You can check out the link down in the description box and save 10% on anything on their website, including the printables. So this is the week of August 8th through August 14th. Like I said, I can't even believe it. So today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner. We support a local business. It's my high calorie, use my weeklies day. So out to dinner we go tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to be making buffalo chicken meatloaf, which sounds incredible. You will be seeing this in Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day. Monday I'm doing copycat KFC bowls. This is a little bit different than Felicia at Felicia Fitness Health's recipe. This is a different recipe. So hopefully I can show you something maybe a little bit different. So we'll be doing that. Tuesday is leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing orange chicken. We'll do, pair that with that jasmine rice that I picked up at Trader Joe's and a veggie. Thursday is fettuccine pasta bake. You guys know we have to have a pasta night every week. My husband and I love pasta. So we're gonna do a fettuccine pasta bake on Thursday for dinner. And then Friday is leftovers simply because we'll probably have some leftovers from these other meals throughout the week. On the back of my weekly menu here is where I write down what I'm doing for meal prep. So you guys will see all three of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep video. So first, our egg bites. I'm excited for this. I've been doing oatmeal based breakfast and so now I'm ready for some protein based breakfast with some eggs. Lunch is going to be caprice meatballs and potatoes. I've been wanting meatballs. You guys know my love of meatballs, meatloaf. So I'm gonna have it for lunch this next week. And you guys, for dessert, we're making brownie cupcakes with frosting. I can't wait for this. I've been wanting brownies. I'm always here for cupcakes with frosting, so let's put them together and do the best of both worlds. So again, you'll see all three of these recipes in my meal prep on Monday. We made it. We made it through the huge, massive grocery haul. I'm exhausted. That is a lot to do, the shopping, the filming, putting it all away but it's over. It is over for a month until I return to Costco. I hope I shared with you some great deals that you can find at Costco right now and some new food finds from some of the local stores in this area. And Trader Joe's, of course, never disappoints. So I hope you enjoyed this massive grocery haul and this week's meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So stay tuned for that. If you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do grocery hauls every single Friday, or I'm sorry, Saturday, so you don't wanna miss a single video. So turn your notification bell on. Give this one a thumbs up if you love grocery hauls and leave your comments down below. Let me know what recipe you're most excited to see. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me on your Saturday and I'll see you all next time. Bye.